I think July 2025 was the final straw for many Firestick users. I mean, with these home screen changes, just so many adverts on the home screen, all of these sponsored applications, all of these uh, Prime Day deals, sponsored entertainment, just so many things clutching up your home screen. People just got fed up and they thought, is there anything else I can do? Well, we can see on my third generation Fi TV Cube running the absolute latest version of the software. I can press one button on my remote, three, two, one, and I'm instantly taken to a custom launcher where I have a super clean home screen, no more sponsored content, no more Amazon adverts. I can organize my applications. I can use custom wallpapers. I can use custom backgrounds. I can hide applications and really just take control of my home screen even in July 2025, running the latest version via OS. So in this video today, let me show you a method which still works today. Doesn't need any kind of coding, any kind of manual ADB commands, just one application, one remote control, and you are good to go. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so for this process to work, we just need to have three things. We need to have a custom remote control, which has extra buttons for one and two which is basically shortcut buttons, which you can then map to other applications. We need an application called App Opener, which will allow us to open up third party applications by using your voice or by using these two buttons. And lastly, we need a custom launcher, any launcher that you like, Wolf Launcher, Project IV, F Launcher, the choice is yours. And you can then follow this process. Now for the first one, you can see directly on the Amazon website, you have lots of options. This one here, for example, is $7.99. You can see the two buttons there. This one is 796. The main thing is you're looking for those two buttons, buttons one and two, which allow you to bind them to custom shortcuts. So, so definitely, for example, this one here, and also this one will work. So get that for your device. You can then pair that to your Fire TV, Fire TV Cube, once you've done that. Now, before we use App Opener, we do have to install a custom launcher. The easiest way we can get one of those is you just go over to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can also type in the short code, which is 534. Zero 02, type that in and click on go, and that will take you directly to my website. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get these custom launchers, custom launchers working again on all of your Amazon devices. So install whichever one you want to use. Once you've done that, let's now press the home button. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. The next time you hold down one of these buttons, buttons one and two, you then get a prompt asking you, what do you want to launch with this button? So if I hold down button one, three, two, one and we can see that there so this is the option i'm using at the moment which is open app opener but by default you can use any voice command you can use any official application you can launch that with the shortcut but as we're trying to launch third-party applications like f launcher or wolf launcher we have to select the option open app opener now as i mentioned before the other thing we need is app opener if i search for that so you do have to get this from the amazon app store i think it cost 99 pence I think just a dollar or so just search for app and then opener here we are that's the one there that's the application i already have it on my device and this basically is a shortcut for opening up any application you like so the very first time you open up app opener let me do that now and all it's doing now is basically it's going to show you all of the applications on your device and it'll just ask you which application do you want to open the next time you select app opener so I mean, for a quick test, we can just say, um, I always want to open up the Wolf Launcher. Let's press select button there. And you get the message telling you that the next time you open up App Opener, it will launch the application. So let's go back. Let's test that now. So if I now open up App Opener, I just press the select button here. And it takes me instantly to Wolf Launcher. So you can replace that with any application that you like. If you want to change the application that you've set before, just go into the manage applications, select app opener and click on the option to clear app data. 
That will then reset the application. You can then select another application, which will then be launched the next time you open up App Opener. Okay, let's now back out of this. So now we know anytime we open up App Opener is going to open up Wolf Launcher for us. Let's go back. So how do we now bind that to the first button? Well, if I long press one again, three, two, one, I can now go to your applications and basically it's telling you which application you want to open the next time you press button one. So I'm going to go down the list here and I'm going to select app opener. He's also created an app opener too, if you want to add two shortcuts instead of one. So let's go for the first one. It says the shortcut for button one has now been reset. So that basically means now the next time I press button one, three, two, one, we are instantly taken to a custom launcher. So right now, as of July, 2025, this really is the easiest way to use custom launchers. Again, without you typing in commands or using, you know, different methods. This method still works today. I think the last time I demonstrated it was back in September. So it's definitely been more than six months. Amazon, I really don't think will block it because they still sell the pro remote control and the pro remote has these two customizable buttons. So, so the fact that they still sell it, I don't think they'll ever stop this feature of using these customizable buttons. So again, you can use your custom launcher, whichever one you like never see any home adverts. You can open up uh, any application. Let's open up VLC. Use your application there. Application works fine. And the next time you want to go back to your custom launcher, again, press button number one. And again, we are taken to that. No more Amazon adverts, no more sponsored content, no more cluttered home screen. I can go ahead and use my device exactly as I like it. And something that I should be able to do when I purchase a device myself. So and that's working absolutely fine. And the last thing just to mention that, in the current time of, you know, lots of viruses, malware, data being stolen, data being mined, devices being compromised, everybody really should be using a VPN. When you use a VPN on your Fire Stick, on your Android TV, you're now no longer using your own IP address. You're rather you're using an IP address provided from your VPN service provider. You can then unlock content, access all of the Netflix libraries and really just keep yourself safe online. Right now, there's a super special offer for the VPN I personally use where you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps. All of them can be covered with the VPN and they also give you unlimited connections. What that means is it doesn't matter if you've got three Fire Sticks, 10 Android TVs, two laptops, all of those devices, unlimited devices, will be covered with a single license. You get blazing fast speeds, so zero buffering, and you get all of that for just over $2 a month. I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel, so many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.